All right, good morning. Uh, it is nice and early here this morning. I'm trying to get a good jump start on the day. It, this is day one of, I think, about four days of rain that are forecasted. So we're gonna do some indoor projects, and that first one being uh, priming and painting the walls inside the shed. So I got this light set up in here just to give me a little bit better light since it isn't quite as bright outside today. Um, we've got a uh, prime coat we're gonna put on, and then Jessica picked up the paint uh, coat that we're gonna put on. I have some white ceiling flat that we're gonna use uh, for the ceiling coat, and then I still need to pick up uh, semi-gloss white that we'll use for the interior trim. So I picked up the trim yesterday too. Um, started working on the idea for and the plan for the desk over here. Um, so I picked up both the lumber for that, uh, some of the brackets that we need to support that. It's gonna be kind of one of those floating desks. Um, and then that's just gonna hold one of those uh, prefab slabs. So I think that'd probably be the fastest way to get a desk in place here and cheapest um, and have it still look decent and nice. Um, but I needed to do that because I needed to make sure I, I understood what the what size window casing uh, and uh, in uh, the jams for the windows so that I could get all of that set. Um, but we're just going to do some paint today um, and we'll see how it turns out. Jessica's in the process of putting the first coat of primer on. Um, I just finished up going through each of the corners and you can kind of see it when I, when I put the exposure on the wall instead of the exposure on me. Um, you can see this seam up here. I just put a bead of, of uh, silicone along the uh, edges along the ceiling and then in the corners of the walls. And so where there were some imperfections uh, with the, the joint compound with the drywall, that's just gonna smooth it all out. It'll be a lot better for painting. Ultimately, the walls are all gonna be the same. So uh, having a, a straight paint line there in the corner isn't gonna be a big deal, but we have a color on the walls and we're gonna have some a flat ceiling white on the, on, the, uh, on the ceiling. So we're gonna wanna have a pretty good paint line along uh, each of the ceiling edges. So by uh, running a bead of silicone along on the edges, it's now a very smooth surface. So cutting it in with the contrasting paint colors is gonna make it look a lot uh, cleaner of a line. So Jessica's just putting some primer on the ceiling. We're getting prime coat on all the walls over, over top of all the texture that we did uh, yesterday. And uh, once that dries, uh, we'll be ready uh, to put the first coat of paint on.
at our home away from home. We're picking out our trim and uh, we'll be heading home and getting this part installed. What'd you get? All right, so we just got uh, some, what is it? It's just uh, some fiber boards already primed um, for doing the jams on the window. So you pay for it by the linear foot. So we got two pieces that were seven feet wide or in length. We know we're only gonna need like six feet, so I got a little bit extra. And then we got two that are five feet each. So we'll do the uprights and then the cross pieces. Uh, and then so we'll have the jams and I'm actually gonna build that whole frame around the window along with the casing in one piece so that we just put the whole thing right up into the window and we'll level it, make it plumb and nail it into place. And we'll be done with windows. A perfect rainy day project. Good morning, another morning here. Uh, another chilly morning and foggy, as you can see. Uh, I think we're in the low 40s, high 30s when I woke up this morning, but it's starting to warm up a little bit. Um, so uh, I didn't get as much done yesterday as had planned on the shed on the interior, but we're still making progress. Um, I did get all the trim painted and actually got the window trim at least sitting there installed. I still have to go through and do some uh, touch a paint on it and uh, get a bead of silicone on all the edges uh, but it looks good finally getting some trim in here and then last night after it was dark i brought put the headlamp on and came out here and shop vac the floor and cut back the trim on the vapor barrier that's hanging down from underneath the wall so uh first thing i'm going to do here is pull this vapor barrier off of the plywood wall we'll throw it down on the ground i'll get the i'll get it cut perfectly to fill the shape so we don't have any folds or creases or anything that's creating bumps underneath the flooring. And then I just brought over with the tractor uh, the flooring that we have uh, that we're gonna be putting in. So um, I'm gonna try and get this all done here. I've got about three or four hours worth of errands I gotta go run today. So I'm gonna see how much I can squeeze in here this morning. And then uh, whatever I don't get done, um, I'll finish up this afternoon when I get back. And well, we should have some flooring in today, I'm hoping. Hopefully flooring and all of the uh, all of the trim work, including the baseboards and the door casing. So I've got all the vapor barrier down and it's trimmed up so that it just fits uh, kind of perfectly on the floor here without extra any extra overlap. I even trimmed back some of the excess from what was coming down over the wall. So we've got an overlap there and then the weight of the floor uh, will kind of create a seal. Um, and then I just swept it all up. We got all of the, uh, the crumbs from the texture picked up there might be a little bit of dust in here too and I'll be I'll, I'll kind of watch it as I as I put the floor planks down to make sure that uh, there aren't any folds or creases in the vapor barrier or any other like rocks or larger things that can be felt through the floor but this is now all ready for flooring to come in I'm gonna go run and do uh, my errands and then this afternoon I'll go back to putting the floor in
All right, I just put the uh, last row in here. Let me see, it's kind of hard to see with the sun, but let me put it down here. So the last row in there along the, the plywood wall of flooring, uh, it took one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, uh, 12, and then that, that partial row. So almost 13 rows of flooring. Um, it took a little, a little more than two planks per row. So uh, I went through four boxes, something like that of, of flooring, but it looks really nice in here. Even uh, Winston and Drew are already in here enjoying the flooring. Uh, I have all the, the trim already painted, so uh, it should just be a few minor cuts, and uh, I'm gonna go get that installed here really quickly, and that'll help. This is a floating floor, so it's just sitting on the, uh, the vapor barrier. The, uh, the baseboards will actually kind of lock in uh, the, especially the, the first and the last row so that it it kind of holds it in, holds it in place a little bit more it can still expand and contract with uh, heat and cool or heat and uh, cold air but um, just being able to hold it down so it doesn't kind of bend up or come up uh, will be uh, helpful with having the baseboards doing that so I'm gonna get that going here right now and we should be done with the flooring here in just a few minutes